Hello everyone. Insect pest damage is one of the most important factors that affect the crop productivity. The effort of plant breeders to introduce the resistant genes into crop plants from other resistant cultivars and related wild species is a time consuming and difficult task. However, the technology of genetic engineering has made possible the cloning and introduction of insect pest resistant transgenes into the crop plants. Many insecticidal proteins from diverse sources are available in nature and are effective against agriculturally important pests without causing problems to mammals, beneficial insects and other organisms. In this module we will study about the different strategies of insecticide resistance in plants. The learning objectives of this module are the crystal proteins, other genes for insect resistance, vegetative insecticidal proteins, proteinase inhibitors, lectins, alpha amylase inhibitors and insect chitinases. Insect pest damage is one of the most important factors that affect the crop productivity. Insect pests from wide array of families damage crop and stored seeds. The pesticides and the chemicals used for the control of these menacing crop pests have proven harmful to the environment and human health in addition to the damages caused to other organisms and beneficial insects. All crop plants exhibit a certain degree of resistance to insects. This inherent resistance is based on various defense mechanisms including a wide variety of secondary metabolites produced by the crop plants. The effort of plant breeders to introduce the resistance genes into crop plants from other resistant cultivars and related wild species is a time consuming and difficult task. However, the technology of genetic engineering has made possible the cloning and introduction of insect pest resistant transgenes into the crop plants. Many insecticidal proteins from diverse sources are available in nature and are effective against agriculturally important pests without causing problems to mammals beneficial insects and other organisms. All commercially available insect resistant transgenic crops express toxin proteins from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis is a gram positive bacteria producing highly insecticidal crystal proteins during sporulation also called as Bt toxins. Bt toxins of several strains of this bacterium had been used as bio insecticide for several years. More than 400 genes encoding toxins from Bacillus thuringiensis have been identified so far. Majority of these identified cry genes have been engineered into plants. The cry gene of Bacillus thuringiensis produces a protein which forms crystalline inclusions in the bacterial spores. Most cry proteins have a distinctive insecticidal spectrum. Some crystal toxins are specific to lepidopteran pests, others are specific to coleopteran or dipteran pests. The crystal proteins are either 130 kilodaltons or 70 kilodalton protoxins. These protoxins are potent and highly specific insecticides. Cryoproteins expressed by transgenic plants are ingested by the insects. They are solubilized in the alkaline environment of insect midgut. Gut proteases which are active at high pH of 12 process the cry protein to yield a 60 kilodalton active toxin. Active toxin binds to a receptor on mid gut epithelial cells and form pores in the epithelial membrane leading to the cell death through osmotic lysis. The core toxic fragments of cry protein have three domains. Domain 1 functions in pore and ion channel formations. Domain 2 is involved in receptor recognition while domain 3 is involved in receptor binding. When the protein binds to the receptor, domain 1 is inserted into the membrane and forms the pore. The pore acts as an ion channel and there is an influx of ions and water causing the epithelial cells to swell and lyse. Bt genes were initially introduced into tomato and tobacco and later cotton that protected the plants from insect infestations. But field testing of these plants revealed that low levels of toxins were found in the plant tissues. 
examination of the bacterial cry 1 AB and cry 1 AC genes indicated that they differed significantly from plant genes in a number of ways by the presence of localized AT rich regions which resembles the plant introns, ATT TA sequences which destabilize the mRNA, potential polyadenylation signal sequences, rare plant codons. Elimination of these undesirable sequences and modification of the rare plant codons in line with the host species resulted in the enhanced expression of Bt toxin. Development of resistance in several insects to cryoproteins were reported. Resistance to cryoproteins may be due to the reduced binding of the toxin to the mid gut epithelium or complete degradation of the toxin cryoproteins. This problem can be overcome by combining or altering two or more kinds of these proteins, reducing the selection pressure on insects by limiting cryogene expression to only the economically important plant parts, by inducing the cryogene expression only when the insect starts feeding, but the strategies for resistance management would depend upon the number of genes and the nature of gene action, insect behavior and insect host genotype and environment interaction. In spite of the fact that Bt transgenic plants currently dominate the market, there are many alternative insecticidal proteins. Several important insect pests are not susceptible to the cryoproteins. For the control of such insects, these alternative insecticidal proteins will be needed. The alternative insecticidal proteins include vegetative insecticidal proteins, proteinase inhibitors, lectins, amylase inhibitors, insect chitinases, etc. Some strains of Bacillus thuringiensis produce vegetative insecticidal protein. These proteins are produced during vegetative growth of cells and are secreted into the growth medium. More than 50 vegetative insecticidal proteins have been identified so far. The ingestion of these proteins causes swelling and disruption of the mid-gut epithelial cells by osmotic lysis in the target insects. Plants have a wide array of defense proteins such as proteinase inhibitors and lectins which are included in response to the insect attack. Proteinase inhibitors represent the most well studied class of plant defense proteins and are abundantly present in the storage organs such as seeds and tubers. Insect proteinases are essential digestive enzymes that catalyze the release of amino acids from dietary protein to provide the nutrients required for larval growth and development. Proteinase inhibitors inhibit the gut proteinases of the insect which adversely affect the protein digestion in the gut. Lectins are carbohydrate binding proteins that bind glycans of glycoproteins, glycolipids or polysaccharides with high affinity. Many of the plant lectins are secretory proteins. Although many functions have been proposed for plant lectins, the most likely function for vacuolar lectins is plant defense. With respect to insects, toxic effects are mediated through binding of the lectins to the midgut epithelial cells with consequent disruption of the cell function. Lectins may inhibit nutrient absorption or disrupt midgut cells by stimulating endocytosis of the lectins and possibly other toxic metabolites present in the midgut. Protein alpha amylase inhibitors are widespread and have been isolated from a variety of plant species and microorganisms. Alpha amylase inhibitors function in a similar manner as proteinase inhibitors, interfering with insect nutrient utilization. When tested in artificial diet, alpha amylase inhibitors showed insecticidal effect to coleopterin storage pests, Callus brucus maculatus and Tribolium confusum. Chitin is an insoluble structural polysaccharide that occurs in the exoskeletal and gut lining of insects. It is believed to protect the insect against water loss and abrasive agents. Because of critical function of chitin, it has been considered as a potential target for insecticidal proteins. 
Dissolution of chitin by chitinase is known to perforate peritrophic matrix and exoskeleton and make insects vulnerable to attack by different pathogens. Expression of proteins which will interfere with chitin metabolism is likely to have a serious effect on the growth and molting of insects. In this aspect, chitinase produced by insects themselves have been used as an insecticidal protein. In spite of the beneficial potential of insect resistance transgenic crops, several ecological and health concerns have been raised against their commercial use. One of the concerns is that these insecticidal proteins may affect interactions of beneficial insects, especially pollinators with the plant. Due to reduction in the population of target insect using the transgenic technology, there is a danger of insects developing resistance to the insecticidal protein due to high selection pressure on the surviving populations. Reduction of the target insect population also provides a niche for other insects to infest the plant. There are also some reports on health hazards posed by the transgenic proteins to humans and livestock. The module can be summarized as, many insecticidal proteins are available in nature and are effective against agriculturally important pests. They include crystal proteins and vegetative induced proteins produced by Bacillus thuringiensis. In addition, plants produce proteinase inhibitors, alpha amylase inhibitors, lectins and chitinases as a part of the defense arsenal. Production of transgenic plants expressing genes coding for these insecticidal proteins has led to production of expression of insect resistance in the transgenic plants and offers a way of protecting plants against insect infestation without the use of pesticides. As a result, transgenic crops producing Bt toxin have been widely commercialized. However, there are several risks in the cultivation of such transgenic plants since they may pose ecological and health hazards. Thank you.